Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I will be doing an Adobe quick tip video and in this segment today, I will be showing you how you can adjust the audio inside of Premiere Pro. So what I'm trying to achieve here today is I will show you how you can add some music to the background and how you can mute the video recording of whatever you've recorded. And then in other parts, I do want the music running in the background, but I do want to emphasize the actual noise that's captured within the video. So in this example, um, I'm at a campsite. So what I'm trying to achieve here is in certain scenes, I just want the music playing, but in other scenes, I do want to highlight the sound of nature, for example, you know, with the birds chir chirping, the leaves rustling, that sort of thing, okay? So let me just give you a quick preview here. Okay, so in this first part here, I just want the music playing, and then in the second part, I do want to move in and transition into showcasing the actual background and the noise. You can still hear the music, however you can hear the leaves as well this time. So here is another example where I want the sound to be emphasized of the tap filling the bathtub. So I'll go ahead and just play this footage so you can see what I'm trying to achieve here. So let me show you how we can go ahead and adjust the audio in the original footage here to include the sound of the tap filling the bath. So as you can see down at the timeline here, we do have the music track. If I click on it, you can see that the name of the track is called Sleepy Jake and it is under A1, so that's audio one, the layer. And then if I'm going to click down here and just scrub it through, so that's the sound and the footage. So the footage is on here up here, so that says image.mov. And then down here is the audio of the bathtub. And it is on audio 2. So let me show you now how you can go ahead and change the audio gain on this footage. Go ahead and right click on this. And then go ahead and click on audio gain. If you have a look up here on the first option, set a gain to, I have already adjusted that to 21 decibels here. So let me go ahead and pop that on, say minus 10, just to show you the difference. Okay, and I'll click on OK on here, and then I'll press play again. So now there's no sound at all because it is on negative. Let me go and click on right click on here again and just show you and finish off with this particular method, audio gain. And as you can see right up here, it's on minus 10. So what we can do is on the second line here, adjust gain by. So I am going to pop in 30 because, you know, it was a negative 10. So in total, if you go back to the first line, I have, I am setting it to 20 decibels and I'll click on OK. Let me play this for you again. So now you can hear clearly the tap running again. So it's as simple as that, okay? So you can go ahead and adjust the audio gain. Next, we can have a look at it visually. If you're a visual person and you want to see the comparison with how muted the audio track is, as well as the original footage sound, you can open up something called the Audio Track Mixer. And this is what you can see on the top left here. So how we can bring this up here, so click on any of the audio, let's just click on the original track. When you go and click on have it highlighted, again you know it's Sleepy Jake is highlighted, go ahead to the top here and go and click on Window. In Window you have an option called Audio Track Mixer and then go and click on whatever track. So as you can see here, Sleepy Jake, the audio track, is already selected with a check mark. 
So if you have a look on here, so as I've mentioned, Sleepy Jake, the audio track is on A1 and it is here, Audio 1 A1. And then we have on A2 on here, this is the sound of the tap running, it is on A2. So when I press play now, have a look at how the volumes are set here. Okay, so as you can see here, the music is right up here. And then we also have the music track. Sorry, music track is on the first one and the tap on the second one. So the next clip here, I just want the music playing. So as you can see, when I press play, pay attention um, to here on audio two and you will see that it isn't as loud as the other footage with the tap running. Okay, so as you can see, it's all the way down here. We haven't adjusted that. So with this footage here, I don't want the sound of the original footage playing, so right click. Audio gain, and if you have a look at the gain, zero decibels here. But if I were to adjust this, it would bring it right up. So that's it for this quick tip. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my videos and want to see more of these. Thanks. See ya.